Welcome students to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about HETIOS. So before understanding HETIOS, we need to understand what do we mean by hypermedia. So to understand a hypermedia, let me give you an example. For example, you go to your favorite website okay? and in your favorite website, there are different A tags, which basically are links which basically link two different documents in a web page. So these links basically link different documents together making a website for you. In the same way that web pages have links to each other defined by link tag or href tag, we basically have hypermedia that are linking together different parts of an API. Okay. If you have to get a documentation to basically access Google how, how you would feel. The same way, the creators of ATOS thought that the APIs shouldn't really be coming up with a separate documentation. Rather, these APIs should be self-discoverable. Like for example, in the response, these APIs should tell more about themselves so that the developer can use these APIs in a way that a normal user would use a website. Okay. So again, these links are documentation to the developers so that they know how to use your APIs in a similar way, you know how to navigate through a web page. So HETIOS is one of the constraints of uniform interface and as I said HETIOS makes API self descriptive and self discoverable. So what problem are we really trying to solve here? The customer or the developer need not know everything about the API before using an API. Okay. So for example, if there is an API, first I need to go and read the entire set of documentation for me to really understand what are things are possible with this API, what are the things that are not possible with this API and then start using it and HETIOS tries to solve that problem. The second thing is HETIOS allow the API to evolve independently of the consuming applications without even breaking. So we have the discoverability of APIs and finally once again what is hypermedia? Hypermedia as I said they are just links to your API okay so kind of documentation to the developers and HETIOS full form it means that hypermedia or rather the links as the engine or as the driver of application state basically links different application states. And finally, I want to show you an example. Okay. So basically, if you have a GET request to, for example, localhost slash customers slash file. So basically, I am trying to get a particular customer. The request or the response to this particular request can be in a form like this, okay, where only this particular part is actually related to the request. Okay. So basically is requesting about the customer 5 and uh, the API is returning customer 5 name is Thomas and that's all information I have. And the most important part is the ATOS part which, which is the remaining part. So which is defined with the help of links tag okay. and within that links array you basically have several different elements like, like for example. Um, there is an element to self okay and this is the self URL and you can also go and do update on this particular customer. So I am basically telling the developer that okay now you have done a get you can also go and do an update on this particular resource and then I am saying you can also go and do a delete of the particular resource it's a, it's a self reference and it's, it's basically the same URL so you can go and do delete you can go and do put. And then you can also use this particular URL or the relative URL is just slash orders to basically see what are the different orders that this particular customer has had. Okay, that's, that's really awesome, right? So basically you get the customer and you get the different orders for the customer. 
and that's all i have related to etios thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning